Hello everyone. Today we have a second class on a chapter third that is coordinate geometry. So let's get started. So in the second class we have learned about the Cartesian system. So first of all, what is Cartesian system as well as the basic terms and the basic points which we have to know before plot any point on a graph paper or a number line. So let's start. Okay. What is Cartesian system? So first of all, when we learn about the Cartesian system, we have to know about the some theoretical part that is a definition. So what is Cartesian system? In a plane, in a plane, let there are two number lines. What? There are two number lines. Named as x comma x dash matab x dash x means we have named them by x axis as a x and x dash in the same way y dash and y these two number line these two number lines cross each other cross each other perpendicular at point perpendicular at point O and O is called what is called it is called also called as also called the what what is called it is called as origin the horizontal line the horizontal line that is x dash and x is called x axis while the vertical line y dash and y that is y axis the plane The plane consisting of the plane consisting of the perpendicular lines is known as what it is known as? Cartesian plane. Cartesian plane or rectangular plane. Rectangular plane. And the whole system is called whole system is known as what it is called? It is called Cartesian system or there is another name that is rectangular system. So what we have learned? We have learned the horizontal axis called x axis while the vertical axis is called y axis. In the same way horizontal axis is named as x comma x dex by the her vertical line is named as y dash and y. So, let us make a diagram. This is an x axis while this is an y axis. This is x axis. This is y axis. This is x. This is x dash while this is y and this is y dash. Next, now how to plot a point and how to read that point and what a point shown. 
तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल देयर इज एन पॉइंट हेयर पी दैट इज एक्स कॉमा वाई वॉट देर इज एन पॉइंट पी हुज कॉर्डिनेट आर एक्स एंड वाई तो वट इट इज शोन इट इज शोन द वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस वाई एंड इट इज शोन द हॉरिजोंटल डिस्टेंस एक्स वॉट वी हैव लर्न वी हैव लर्न दैट इफ देर इज एन पॉइंट पी विथ कॉर्डिनेट एक्स एंड वाई देन इट शोज द वर्टिकल डिस्टेंस वाई एंड इट शोज द हॉरिजोंटल डिस्टेंस ऑफ एक्स these together both points are called coordinates while x is called as we have learned in our earlier class what is it is an abscissa while the y is called ordinate understand now now we are going to learn about some basic terms that are very useful in cartesian systems are the so first basic term is coordinate coordinate axis what we have learned what is coordinate axis x dash and x and y dash and y are called x axis and y axis respectively and both of them and both of them together are known as known as what coordinate axis so what we have learned we have learned when the x axis and y axis are together read as the name suggest is coordinate axis both axis together are known as coordinate axis now the point where the both axis the point where both axis intersect or intersection point that is origin what are the coordinates of origin that is 0 comma c now this is a definition of origin what the intersection point of both the horizontal and vertical axis is known as origin whose coordinates are 0 comma 0 after that what we have learned we are what is abscissa what is an abscissa that is the coordinate the coordinate representing representing the position of representing the position of a point along a line along a line perpendicular perpendicular to the y axis to the y axis in plane means the coordinate representing the position of a point along a line perpendicular to the y axis means y axis pe jo perpendicular ban raha hai dono side se wo point ko show karta hai kya abscissa or that is an x axis point after that what that is ordinate if we are going to write only abscissa then it is p is equals to x comma 0 this point mainly lie on the x axis if we are making a number line and a point is 4 comma 0 that means it is lie on the x axis here 
this point is known as 4 comma 0 because its distance it's a vertical distance from the y axis on x axis is 0 that's why there is no ordinate only a abscissa that's why this point lie on the mainly on the x axis understand after that what is an ordinate we have learned about it earlier also but here we are only going to explain the definition of it that is the coordinate the coordinate representing the position of a point the position of a point along a line perpendicular to the x axis in a cartesian plane and its if a point lie that is 0 comma y understand if it is asked about abscissa then the point is perpendicular to the y if it's called about the ordinate then the point is perpendicular to the what x axis just the opposite after that we have to learn about the quadrant what is an quadrant what is a quadrant these number line make up four area these four area making a quadrant quadrant is a word that shows the four four quad this quad word means a four so here number line making a four areas that is between the number lines intersection this all together are known as quadrants so here the definition mainly is that the axis the axis divide the plane into four parts these parts are known as these parts are known as quadrant i think you have understand what the axis divide the plane this cartesian plane or a rectangular plane into a four parts and that part are known as quadrant now so which name there is an first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant if we name them then it is x y x dash and y dash so if we name them then they are x o y where o is shown the origin means this is the first quadrant this is the second quadrant this is the third quadrant and this is the fourth quadrant so if we name them then they are x dash o y x dash o y dash and x o y dash so these are the four quadrants so first of all you have to learn that are what are quadrants then you have to learn which quadrants lie on the which side of the plane after that you have to learn the names where these quadrant lie now we have to learn what sign conventions of coordinates means which sign you have to given or the point lie on which quadrant then you are able to easily find the sign of that point so question is sign convention of 
coordinates so these are quadrant this is x coordinate this is y coordinate and these are the point you have to learn this first second third and fourth so if we have known about the first quadrant then the sign is positive for an x and y is also positive so the point having both positive numbers after that if we learn our second quadrant then the x is minus while the y is plus so the point is minus and plus point after that if we are showing about both negative signs on the third quadrant so the point is both negative after that x is minus x is plus while the y is minus so the point is plus comma minus so now we are easily able to frame the number line according to the points so if we are going to find up this number line and i ask you where is point minus 5 comma 3 lie so you can easily make where the x negative lie so it is lie on the this side and the positive of y so the point is mainly in the second quadrant what it is on a second quadrant it is in the same way shown in the point conventions sign conventions of coordinates so you have learned now you have to learn mainly how to plot a point on a cartesian system so let's get a start now let's take a point let take a point that is 2 comma 3 draw first of first step is draw a coordinate what axis sabse pehle aapko kya banana hai coordinate axis banani hai after that second point choose proper scale choose proper scale of the coordinate axis मतलब आप एक प्रॉपर स्केल चुनिए नॉर्मल सी बात जब टू और थ्री पॉइंट है तो हम गैप जो लेंगे वो फाइव का तो नहीं ले लेंगे हम सिक्स का तो नहीं ले लेंगे हम क्या करेंगे हम सिंपली पॉइंट कैसा बनाएंगे वन टू थ्री और फोर यहां पर भी वन टू थ्री और फोर इन द सेम वे वन टू थ्री फोर वन टू थ्री फोर विच नेगेटिव आफ्टर दैट वन टू थ्री and four these are also negative so where the point lie two so where is x is positive here and after that three so the point lie here shown the distance three and two two is from x axis and three is from y axis so here we learned how to plot a point on a cartesian plane now there are some question which you have to practice before doing a proper chapter that is question number 1 that is find the quadrant in which 4 comma minus 3 lie means point 4 comma minus 3 lie on which quadrant lie on which quadrant so first of all you have to make a lumbar line then the point here is x positive means the point is x here while the y is negative then the point lie on the this quadrant where x is positive while the y is negative then the quadrant is fourth quadrant after that and the question is the three vertices the three vertices of a triangle 
ए बी सी आर ए वन कॉमा फोर बी माइनस टू कॉमा टू सी थ्री कॉमा टू प्लॉट दिस पॉइंट प्लॉट दिस पॉइंट फाइंड द एरिया फाइंड द एरिया तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू वी आर मेकिंग आर नंबर लाइन नंबर लाइन इज दिस After that, points are make. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Negatives are there. Here also negative. After that, we have to first of all we have to plot these points on the graph. So that is a. A is one comma four. So x axis is one and this is four. So a is lie here. Now b. B is minus two and two. So x is here minus and two is positive. Then the b lie here. B is here. While the c is three comma two. So three comma two is something here. This is C point. If we join these points, we get a perfect triangle. This. Now we have to find the area. So first of all, for area, the formula is one by two into base into height. Height must be a perpendicular. Means you have to take in the height which is perpendicular to the base. Here the height is this. So what is the distance? Is I think this is two. Is it true? Check it. From two to four axis, the vertical line is of two units. Means here the height is two unit, while the base is first of all it is here three and here two. So it is of five units. Now we are going to find the area that is one by two base and height. That is five unit is. Area. Understand? Now, this is an easiest question you have to do by yourself only. The question is, which axis point lie? Points are P five comma zero, Q zero comma minus two. R minus four comma zero and S zero comma five. You have to only easily tell where which axis these points lie. So on which axis the point lie except zero? Any number that is except zero, there that only the axis depends. So here x in the place of x, what is written? It is five. So it is lie on the x axis. It is lie on the y axis. It is lie on the x-axis, and it is lie on the y-axis. Understand? After that, there is also another question in which you have to tell the point. That is, find the coordinates. Find the coordinates of the point whose Ordinate is minus ten and lies on y-axis. Means you have to find the coordinates where the ordinate means not a FC side. It's an ordinate that is minus ten and the point lies on y-axis. It means if it is on lie on the y-axis, it means the FC side is zero. So the point is. Zero comma minus ten. Have you understand? Have you understand? Now, next question. The point one comma zero lies on where? Where it is lie? It is lie on the. X axis. 
और समथिंग न्यू नो तो हेयर वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अवर सेकेंड क्लास विच इज डिपेंड मेनली ऑन द कार्टिशियन सिस्टम आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू अवर थर्ड क्लास विच इज नेम्ड एज समरी इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू ओनली रिवाइज द होल चैप्टर दैट इज कॉर्डिनेट जोमेट्री ब्लीफली बाय द नोट्स सो होप यू हैव अंडरस्टैंड द चैप्टर सो मीट यू ऑन अ नेक्स्ट क्लास दैट इज summary class of a chapter 3 that is coordinate geometry thank you so much for this class